Hello guys, welcome to Jhook, and in today's session we are going to look on the deployment of a Quarkus application and how can we use Docker to run a Quarkus application. If you are new to the Quarkus, then I would highly recommend to go through with my first tutorial, which is getting started on a Quarkus, where I have shown how to create a simple Hello World application using Quarkus. And I'll also put down the link for that video in the description so you can just refer to that video before you start working with the Docker deployment of Quarkus. As you can see, we are using the same workspace which we have used previously for implementing a Hello World program with Quarkus. If you look carefully here, then you will notice it comes with a pre generated Docker JVM and Docker native files. So what's the difference between Docker JVM and Docker native? So Docker JVM is something where we are going to run a Quarkus application inside a Docker container. But if we talk about the Docker native, then we are talking something, we are running a Quarkus application in a native mode, which is Graal VM. So in that case, we will be using Docker native file. Today we are going to focus on a Docker JVM file and how we can run our Quarkus application inside the Docker container. If you look carefully on this Docker JVM file, then you will notice it is a pre-generated Docker JVM file with the presets of command. So you don't have to do anything extra over here. You need to just follow the instruction which is given in the Docker JVM file. So here you will see this is a Docker build command where we are specifying the Docker JVM file. And second, we need to specify the image name. So which we have specified Quarkus slash slash hello world JVM. Secondly, we are exposing our application on the port 8080. So we can access the hello world rest endpoint on the port 8080. And the same thing you can see over here in the expose that it has exposed it to 8080. So this, this is a very basic Docker file, which is like a pre-built and uh, it's shipped from code.corcus.io. In the next step, we are going to build this Docker image. And for that, we are going to use this command Docker build. Just copy this command and open, go to the terminal and just paste over here. If you are doing this Docker build command for the first time, then it will take a little bit time. It might take a minute or so because it's going to download the image from a Red Hat repo. Okay, once you see the successful message, that means our image has been built successfully. In the next step, we are going to run our Docker container. And for that, we are going to use the command docker run. Just copy this command, go to terminal and just paste over here. And as you can see, there are some log messages. And if you see, uh, it's listening on the port 8080. So that means our application or our Docker container has started and it's running uh, our application on the port 8080. In the next step, we are going to test our Quarkus application, which is running inside our Docker container. And for that, we are going to access the REST endpoint, which is a Hello World REST endpoint. And for that, we are going to use a browser. And the port which we know is 8080. So it's our local host 8080. And then we can put the REST endpoint name, which is hello. And as you can see, our Quarkus application is running inside our Docker container and it has been exposed at port number 8080. So here we can see the message which we have uh, put inside our REST endpoint. There are further more command which you can use to check the health of your Docker container. And for that, you can use Docker PSA. It will show you the how many Docker containers are running. And as you can see, our image name Quarkus Hello World JVM is running with the container ID this. And it, it has started around 36 seconds ago and the status is up. So it's healthy and it's up and it's running. And as I mentioned, it's running on 8080. So here you can see the ports also. So our Docker container is, is still running. And to stop our Docker container, you can use the command docker stop 
and you need to mention the container ID, which is this. So you can copy this and paste over here. So you need to use the command docker stop and the container ID and hit enter. And after that, you will see a container ID, which is printed over here, which means our Docker container has stopped. To check that, you can again issue the command docker psa. And as you can see, there's no more container running. The list is completely empty. I hope you liked the today's session with the Docker deployment of our Quarkus application. And in the next session, we are going to explore the docker.native file. And if you have any questions or comment, please put down into the comment section below. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for the similar content for the DevOps and the cloud native deployment and the applications. Thank you.